Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys today? I am excited to bring you these baby cards with the little monkey stamp set. How cute are these monkeys popping out of the drawers of this cute little chest? So I'm going to show you how to make this and we are going to have a good time with these little monkeys. I have also paired it with the Charming Sentiments um, because on the inside... I've stamped so tiny, so precious, and congratulations, and I put the little swinging monkey at the top. So um, I wanted to pair it with a word set that had some baby sentiments, um, and I thought that the charming sentiments worked perfectly with this, so check that out if you don't own it. And the other thing that I'm using is the Lasting Label Punch. And it's pretty fantastic as well. And we're going to use that to make the bottom of our drawer. So let's go ahead and get started and make these cute cards. So we're doing one in pink and one in blue. I have already scored them. They're four and a quarter. Actually, they're four inches by 11 inches. And the reason for that is I wanted to make this piece up here of the dresser come out so I needed the four and a quarter to be at the top but this is four inches so we are gonna escort it still at the five and a half inch mark and I'm gonna burnish with my bone folder I'm doing both cards at the same time it's always nice to have baby cards on hand because you never know when you're gonna hear of somebody having a baby all right, so then I have a piece that's four and a quarter by half inch in both of these colors. This is balmy blue and bubble bath. And so this is half inch by four and a quarter. And what we are gonna do is we are gonna glue that. I'm gonna grab my silicone mat. And we're gonna glue that. So I'm gonna put glue not all the way to the end. I'm gonna stop about that far. And we're gonna glue this right at the top. It's gonna actually lay on the top of the card and we're gonna overhang it. And see how it just has a little bit on each end. So we're gonna do that with both of these. Half inch by four and a quarter. All right, so again, we're gonna right at the top so that it meets that top edge. And I'm using the wet adhesive because it gives me that wiggle room. All right, so there's that. So now we're gonna trim the ends. We want it to be flush on this side and right at the four and a quarter inch mark on that side. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna angle cut right from that corner to meet that part of the card. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just like that. We'll do that one more time with our blue card. All right, the next step is we are going to punch our lasting label punch out of the bottom of our card. So we only need this section right here of the punch. So we only need to stick the card in till not where this big section is right here. We just want this little kind of edging. You'll see when I punch it. So we're gonna just put that up there and we're gonna look on both sides of the punch and make sure that we're nice and even on this side and this side. And it looks as best as it can be. I mean, life's not perfect, neither am I. And so see how much is in there? We're gonna give that a punch. All right, that's how much got cut off. Do the same with our other one. And this is gonna form the decorative bottom of our baby dresser or baby chest of drawers, whatever you wanna call it. So let me get this pink one on. Okay, so these pieces are left over and you're gonna use those to do the knobs on your drawers. And so the knobs come, you're gonna use these leftover pieces. The knobs are the monkey ears from the monkey punch. So you're gonna stick 
your piece in and you're gonna punch six of, from either side, these little ears of the monkey, okay? I've already done that ahead of time, so I'm just gonna put this to the side. Now, the next part is we are gonna go ahead and do a little stamping and a little coloring. So I've already stamped and colored two of the monkeys, but the monkey that gets punched out of the punch, we're gonna go ahead and do him. So let me grab my memento. And I'm gonna ink him up, so cute. Actually gonna put him upside down, he'll fit better. Right there. We'll do one more. And there is my second monkey. Let's go ahead and color him in after I clean my stamp, of course. Because if I don't, you'll see me making messes everywhere. All right, so we're gonna color the monkey. So what I have chosen to do this time is I have used the light bubble bath blend and that is the whole body of the monkey. So we're gonna go around the ears, under here, around, and fill that in. And around the ear. I love coloring with the blends because to me it goes so quickly. Around the body, down this leg. And I think the bullet tip is the perfect tip to use um, for our monkeys. The little arms and legs seem to fit perfectly with the bullet tip and the tail. Now we're gonna darken, use the dark bubble bath for the ears and for the face. And then we're gonna use that also for shading. So I'm gonna go around everything first, then I'm gonna go around the eyes, make sure that I don't get any pink in there. And there is that little monkey's face. And now I'm gonna shade the monkey like so. And I'll show you the other one on the other side to show you how to shade your monkey. And then once I've shaded, I like to go back over and blend so that it will really blend in nicely with the light color. I don't like it. I like there to be a nice transition. So there's that one. Let's do our bat, uh, balmy blue. So again, we're going to start with the light. And I will start on the ear, around the chin, to the other ear, around the little face, and the head. One arm, and the body, the leg, go around to the body, the arm, the other leg, and the tail. And then we're gonna fill in Okay, and again, this is the light balmy blue. Now we're gonna do the same thing, use the dark for the ears, for the face, gonna outline the whole face, around the eye, around this eye, Okay, and I'm gonna shade the monkey on this side this time. I like to do the tail, if it's on the side that I'm shading, and kind of under the neck here, and we'll do a little bit on this side. And then we'll blend that in with the light, balmy blue, so that it really transitions nicely. And it there's no stark. There we go. Oops, a little bit right there. All right, so these guys are gonna get punched with the punch. 
So if I don't have enough to hold on to, which sometimes I do not, and I don't here, I like to attach a little scrap paper. So what we can do is grab this little piece. I'm gonna show you. And we're gonna add a little bit of wet adhesive to the end, just enough to hold on to our monkey. Okay, now I have a handle. And I can slide my monkey into the punch. And I have to line it up, and as soon as I'm lined up, I will um, show you guys. There we go. <clears throat> and we're gonna give it a punch. And then I'm gonna remove that, put another little bit of wet adhesive. We'll do the same thing for the pink monkey. I love that it gives you a little handle to hold on to. We'll slide our little pink monkey in there. Once I have it lined up, I'll show you. There we go. And punch. And then I can discard my little holder and my leftover piece. All right, so now we have our monkeys. We're good there. Let's talk about the drawers. So the drawers are one inch by three and a half inches. I wanna be 100% sure, because sometimes I forget. Yes, three and a half inches by one inch. And so I have three in bubble bath and three in balmy blue. And I have my buttons or the, not buttons, the handles, sorry. <laughs> Little drawer handles, so there are those. And we are gonna stamp Little Monkey. For the pink, I'm gonna be using the base, the Tuxedo Black Memento because the pink is very pale and it doesn't really show. So we're gonna use the black. Then I'm gonna go ahead and clean that. And we will use the balmy blue for the blue chest. So there is that. Looking cute so far. And let me clean that. We're gonna do a little bit more stamping because we have to stamp our insides. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut this. So I'm gonna just go straight down and kind of wiggle around the word monkey. I just wanna leave a cute little border all the way around it. And it's gonna be attached onto one of the drawers. And there is the blue. Now for the black one, we are actually going to use our Stampin' Right marker. And I'll show you how I did on this one. So I've outlined it in pink because it's so light. I just wanted to make sure to add a little touch of pink around the letters. You can use the brush tip or the bullet tip whatever works for you. But I didn't go directly over it. I just wanted to add color around it so that there would be little pops of pink around the word monkey. Since it was too pale and it'll dry a little paler. So there is that. And we're gonna go ahead and fussy cut that one out. And we'll have that one ready. 
And then we'll just have to, the only stamping that's left is for the inside of our card. But first we will start making our monkeys. I don't mind fussy cutting. I used to hate fussy cutting with a scissor and I used to mostly fussy cut with an X-Acto knife because for me, it's much faster. But the more I practiced, the faster I got using a scissor and now I don't mind it at all. So if you hate fussy cutting, just keep trying and eventually you'll be fine with it. Okay, so we're gonna start here and we are going to grab our bubble bath. We're gonna start on our card and we're gonna go with our dauber all the way around the edge of our little chest because we really want it to stand out. And adding that little pop of ink color all the way around is kind of like giving it a halo. I love how it looks. We're also going to add a little bit along this edge right here. I'm just rubbing right along that edge. So that is that. So that one's done. Now we're going to do the same thing to all the drawers. So we have three drawers. you guys own the daubers let me know in the comments below I love my daubers one more to go this really helps to define the drawers if you can see in my sample it really defines the drawers by having that little pop of darker color highlighting our drawers. Okay, so now we're gonna do our buttons. So I'm just, I keep calling them buttons, guys. What is going on with that? I don't know. Anyway, they're knobs, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pounce over the top and darken them. I want them to be nice and dark because I really want these to pop off of the drawer. So now we're done with pink. For right now, we're gonna stamp the inside of our card, but for right now we're done with this. So I'm just gonna slide that off. And let's get started with balmy blue. We'll start with our card. I really just love the look of this um, distressing or adding this pop of color around the edge of our dresser or, dr or chest of drawers. I think it looks so good. And then of course we're gonna brush over that seam right there. Okay. So there's that. Let's work on each of our drawers. I wanted to do both colors for you guys because I just think it's, it, I wanted you to see how easy it is to make two cards at the same time. And that way you have them ready for any event. And this is such a cute little set. It works perfect for baby, right? And it's always nice to have cards on hand to use when we have an occasion, because sometimes when the occasions come up, we don't always have time to make our cards. So if we make them ahead of time and save them for the perfect occasion, all right, and let's add our drawer pulls or drawer knobs. All right. All 
All right, there we go. And again, we'll revisit this color, but not till we get to the inside. So let's go ahead and start assembling. So for each of my drawers, I wanted to put mini dimensionals. I just felt like it was the right size. And you guys know that I go a little overboard using, whoops, that one came off, but it's okay. Since we're gonna have to peel it off anyway. I go a little overboard, so I'm putting eight, but you can put six on yours if you want. I just think this is the right amount for this length. All right, all of the backs want to come off on me. That's okay. We'll work with it. All right, and one more. Hopefully you guys can still see. I forgot to check where the camera went up to, so hopefully I'm in camera here. I'm sure I am. It just feels like it's such a small space when you're on camera that you have to um, work in. And as you know, as we craft, we continue to have more and more, take up more and more space. <laughs> okay, so there's those. Let's go ahead and get them on our pink drawers. If I can find my other one, there we go. And then we're gonna add the monkeys to the drawers next, and then we will attach them with the monkey on the actual drawer. I don't know why this side is giving me so much trouble to pull these off, but it is. Goodness gracious, see yeah, another one. Another back wants to come off. And that one did come off. Oh my lord. Okay. And another back come off. Sorry that I'm having so much trouble with the dimensionals. I don't know. I must have ink on my fingers. I do. Because I'm getting dark marks on the back of my drawer. Hopefully I will. Let me use a, a baby wipe to clean my hands so that I don't get it on the fronts of the drawers because that would make me sad. All right. Let's see if I can get it off of my fingertips. All right. I think we're good now. All right, so let's figure out how we want our monkeys to be on here. Now, the monkey with the curled tail, I am going to add that monkey Actually, I'm going to put my knobs on first. So I'm going to flip these over. It doesn't matter if some of the dimensionals are off. And I'm going to line them up real close to each other because I want the knobs in the same spot on all the drawers. So we're going to put a dot in the same spot all the way down. And one on this side in the same spot all the way down. And then I'm going to use my take your pick tool. I'm going to use the putty end and I'm going to pick up the buttons. Oh my gosh, I still keep calling them buttons. The knobs and put, put them on the drawers. Those have to be on there first because the monkeys may cover them. So that's why we have to do those first. I think this one got flipped over. Oh, nope didn't. It just looks extra light to me, but it isn't obviously. Okay, so there are the knobs all on the drawers. All right, so now we're going to put our monkey on there, and the first monkey is hanging, 
out of the drawer. So the tail goes behind and the monkey goes like this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put adhesive on the bottom section of the tail right there so that it will grab to the back end of the drawer like so. Now, this part of the monkey is hanging, but we definitely don't want the monkey to just be hanging out there and not stay, right? So we're gonna put some adhesive, just a line or so. I'm gonna try and show you like that. And then we're gonna stick our monkey down. And that adhesive that's behind the monkey will hold it in place. My drawer knob came off, so let me make sure that I have it in the right spot. Must not have been dry. There we go. All right. So now that monkey is on his drawer. Now this little monkey is also coming from behind, but it's this little foot that is coming from the back. So we're going to put this little monkey's foot back there like so and he will balance on that drawer like he's popping out okay and I'm gonna put glue behind the tail and the foot of the front of him to keep him stable so I'm just gonna flip it over and add a little bit of wet adhesive to that foot and the tail and then that will hold that monkey in place. So there's how our monkeys are gonna look. So now we need to put dimensionals on the back of the parts of the monkey that are showing. So right there. And let me slide this forward. Make sure that we have dimensionals on our monkey. One more maybe. Right there. All right, so now we're good to go. Let's just pull the backs off and start attaching our drawers and well, then we'll do it one more time. So we're gonna pull the backs off of the pieces of the monkey first. I'm gonna get rid of all of these that are on my, well, like I'm gonna try anyway. When the take your pick tool gets saturated, it doesn't wanna pick up anymore. All right, so let's get the rest of these off. That one's done, all right. So this one is the bottom drawer. So let's go ahead and start attaching our little monkey. I'm not gonna push the monkey down yet because the middle drawer needs to be in place. We're gonna do the top monkey next. And then we'll be ready for the middle drawer. I like to do it in this order because for me, um, that way you can center the middle drawer. So this one's gonna be up here about so. And this one can be pushed down. Let's get our middle drawer ready and then we can attach our bottom monkey because he's gonna be overlapping that middle drawer. So cute. All right. So let's put our middle drawer in, slide it in, make sure that it see that there's equal amount of space in between the drawers so that it looks nice and even. And once I have that in place, I'm gonna look at it from this view, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and push that down and then I can push my monkey. So that's what we have so far onto the blue. All right. Let's get the monkey with the tail first. A little bit on the back part of the tail. 
figure out where he is going to be on his drawer. Oh, I forgot to do the, the drawer pulls. Okay, let's line these up and do the drawer pulls. I thought I had done them at the same time, but I hadn't. This is fun doing this with the um, take your pick tool because it's just like putting an embellishment on. It works out rather well. That putty end grabs onto it and it's such a small piece that it's nice that you can pick it up with the putty end. All right, now my drawer pulls are in place. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put some wet glue behind this monkey so that he'll stay on my drawer there. This one's not gonna have any, and this little monkey is gonna be on this foot. And this back side of the leg and the tail, back side, leg, tail, and that foot. So we will put him in place. Let's move him over. All right, and let's go ahead and put some dimensionals on our monkey. And we'll attach him to the drawer. My, my uh, phone is just having notification after notification. Doesn't it know I am trying to film a video? <laughs> Nothing like it. Working our way down our little monkey. We're gonna attach him also with one of those and then we'll put one here. I think that's good. All right, let's start with the top drawer this time. I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool. Start pulling these little guys off. these mini glue dots are perfect not glue dots mini um, dimensionals are perfect for the drawer because the drawer is almost too wide for the regular size um, dimensional you wouldn't know where to put them and then the drawer would be uneven so I'm so happy that we have the minis because for projects like this they fit the bill Let's get our drawer in place. This time we'll start with the monkey on the top. So I want his drawer to be about right there, I guess. I love that he looks like he's hanging from that drawer. He's so cute. I'm just gonna just drop this here, but I'm not gonna actually set it down until, well, I'll put it backwards, until I do my other monkey. And I want that one about right there. And then we'll flip our drawer in here and center it. I have to hold it up guys, sorry. But I will show you when I'm done. I also noticed that I nicked off the top of my monkey's head, so I need to round that. I must have um, not realized when I had it in the punch, but luckily paper snips to the rescue. And I can trim him up so that he's not crooked. All right, so there is, that drawer's a little crooked though. Let me lift that up a little. All right. Come on, little monkey, fix. I gotta fix you. All right, I'm happy with that now. Had to fix that, it was a little crooked. All right, last but not least, 
we're going to add our mon little monkey. And so um, what I chose to do for this is to use the ends, I gotta find one, of my dimensionals, let's see. For the tops because the tops are going to hang off so i wanted to place a little bit of dimensional there so that it would be even with the rest of the drawer the, re the bottom is going to just lean on the drawer so it just needs regular wet adhesive. I'll show you on my other card. Hang on. I'm going to pull the backs off first. All right. So on this card, as you can see, the word little is hanging off of that drawer. So I need to have dimensionals behind it so that it will be even with the drawer since the drawer has dimensionals behind it. But this part lays flat, so we're gonna use wet adhesive for this bottom section. Okay. There is that one. Little monkey. And let's put some wet adhesive on this one. Then we can do the insides. Um, the Charming Sentiment stamp set, if you don't own it, is fantastic. Um, I love how it looks. And it has a variety of fonts and a variety of sentiments for all different occasions. All right, so we have two pieces of basic white. And this is going to be three and three quarters, because I forgot to cut it that, but three and three quarters by four and three quarters. Because we have to make up room for the bottom. All right. So let's go ahead and stamp. So we're gonna stamp the words that say, so tiny, so precious, congratulations. So here we go. Make sure I'm straight here. So tiny, so precious. Look how cute that font is. And then the words congratulations. I'm gonna drop that just slightly down and then we're going to add the little swinging monkey because how cute is he let me grab my little um scrap paper if i can find it here it is just in case the monkey goes off the edge so i want to make sure that he fits on here and there is our monkey okay let's clean and do it one more time. This time in pink. The bubble bath is such a pretty color. I love it. Looks like I almost have something on my fingers. I don't know what I have, but it's bothering me. All right, bubble bath it is. Here we go. So tiny, so precious. Ah, oh, love it. And then congratulations. The pink is so subtle, but it is so pretty. There's congratulations. And then we gotta do our monkey. Just like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got some ink now on the corner. I don't know, I'm a disaster today, guys. So let's try and get it out with our sand eraser. If it doesn't come out, we're gonna do some 
quick fix. I like to point out when I make mistakes because you might make the same mistake and I want you to have a solution for it. I'm gonna start with the sand eraser. Then I'm gonna use my adhesive eraser and I'm gonna go back to the sand eraser in a different direction this time. All right, it's not gonna come out. So this is what we're gonna do. We're going to use our pink. And our dauber. And we are gonna add color all the way around. And in the corners, we'll just put extra like that. And no one will know that I had ink on my finger and I flubbed the card. So first you try and erase it and if it doesn't work, then you fix it. The other one we're gonna leave blue because the same person's not getting both cards. They're not gonna know that one had a mistake that I had to fix. <laughs> All right, so let's add adhesive to the back. So these are four and three quarters by three and three quarters. I'm gonna measure just to be 100% sure for you, but I'm pretty sure it's four and three quarters. All right, and this gives us a little border all the way around. See, we needed to make room for this piece at the bottom. See, and no one will know because we added that little bit of color all the way around. I got something, I don't know what that is on my glue, but silicone mat to the rescue. All right, and here is our balmy blue. And we'll add our little sentiment on the inside. Fantastic! And they stand up and when you have them standing, they look like a dresser. I mean, they are super cute. All right, let's clean up our mess. Let's bring in back what we used. We used Charming Sentiments, which look at all the different fonts it has. And Little Monkey. And we also used the... Um, lasting uh, label punch and the little monkey punch. The little monkey punch, you can get that in a bundle when you buy the little monkey stamp set and the little monkey punch, you save um, 10%, so it's worth getting the bundle. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this process. I know it was a little longer than my videos usually are because we made two cards, but I hope that you will enjoy it and choose to make one yourself. Thanks for being here. If you have more questions or information or want to see detailed photos of this project, check out inkyhandswarmhearts.com. I do have a blog post every day unlike YouTube where I do not um, have a video every day, but I do have information about the, the bundles that I use on a daily basis. So check that out. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.